I have found a job description for seasonal lifeguard operations assistant. It's a temporary position in Hastings and has up to 20 hours of work a week, which is advertised as a part-time vacancy on the RNLI's website. It is advertised as a temporary seasonal job with pay of £8.90 an hour. On the RNLI website, I have found they have a job description, which tells the applicant what the job involves and what the expectations of employees are. It also gives a candidate a better idea as to whether or not they think they will suit the job and enjoy the role. It also tells them if they are qualified for the job. For example, this job requires the candidate to have GCSEs in English and Maths at past grade and above. The job description also tells the potential employee what key responsibilities they will have when they take on this role. This may also include some additional responsibilities. All the skills required for the job being advertised are stated in the job description on the website. The personal specification is a description of the qualifications, skills, experience and knowledge which a candidate must possess to apply for the job. For example, for this job, it is essential that candidates have a GCSE in English and Maths at past grade and above, a DBS check or safeguard level 2, however this may be dependent on the area you are working in, a driving licence, casual to care for lifeguards and have experience in IT and experience of office administration so this basically means being able to use Microsoft Office or basic appliances. The RNLI headquarters opened in the summer of 2015. The purpose-built £24 million facility in Poole is the charity's new headquarters. It will be responsible for the production, maintenance and refit of the all-weather lifeboats under one roof and this will be the first time in the organisation's 191 year history this has happened. In 2016, the RNLI's equipment and property were valued at around £75 million. With around 46 different types of boats currently being used and 100 different stations around the UK, this makes the RNLI the biggest sea life-saving team in the world. Planned maintenance and refurbishment will be planned months in advance to prevent as little disruption as possible, which means it will usually be done in the off-season. After this, the RNLI will have a few waste products that will need to be sent to special disposable wasteland due to the products they use. For example, this could be fuel or old boat engines that are no longer used to the RNLI. As the RNLI are a company, they will need to pay a fee for this waste products. If the RNLI are struggling with numbers, as they are too busy, they can always turn to the emergency services such as the police, fire service and ambulance for extra help once they bring patients back to land. Like all companies, all the staff, machinery and property will be insured. If anything would get damaged, the insurance would cover all the costs, or if a member of staff gets injured or even killed, then the insurance could cover that as well. Security is also a massive aspect for the RNLI as they work with very expensive equipment. All the buildings are fitted with high level security systems to prevent or even catch the thieves. But also security measures are in place to protect the data and private data of the RNLI staff and rescue missions.